Hello, welcome back. Last time I tried to tell some very similar people apart with mixed results. Um, I'm getting getting things done, but it's still going to be a while before I've gotten this whole mystery unraveled. But I am learning many, many things. I had an idea that I want to try right away. Uh, I think today's activity is to go back through the Doom and parse through that sequence again, because I think that's the oldest uh, set of memories I had. I'm um, going to go back to my favorite place. Am I? Before I go back to my favorite place, I want to look at it in the book. Um, I had an idea about William Wasim and Abraham Akbar. There's a guy I want to identify as one of those two names, and I wanted to see if both 52 and 53 are in the memory. You know, I wrote down all the tag numbers that appear in that memory. 52 does not appear there. I know that's William Wasim. Okay, just looking at my list. Um, Abraham Akbar is not in A Bitter Cold Part 1. The only other Hindi speaker was there. So I can say that I was correct about William Wasim's name. Um... <sighs> So right, empty. My my way of determining his identity was bad, but um, now I have a better one. This no, this guy right here. You are, oh. Hold what? I did input your name. What? Wait, what? I thought I uninput that. I was sure I uninput that. Oh. That was me inputting it. The action I just took identified William Wasim. Right, I clicked here, then I said who it was. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I forgot where I was. <laughs> anyway, that's William Wasim. I can, I can say with near certainty. Great. So how many complete fates is that input? I think it's two at this point. Shotgun unknown. Unknown, unknown, unknown. Spiked. Chiotan. So Chiotan and William Wasim are my two complete fates currently. Hold, uh, yeah, that's right, that's William. Okay, so uh, the Doom. Let's go there. So I wonder who Abraham Akbar is then. I guess I just have no information about him other than that he's from India and was not in, wait a minute. I wonder if he died by a bitter cold part one. No, that was pretty early. That was part two. The only people who died before then were the stowaway and Samuel Peters. Yeah, okay. Uh, so anyway, the doom. Uh, where does the doom start? The book can tell me. Flip, 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 flip. Uh, right, that's the the end is the start. The start is, oh man, so many people disappeared. Omid Ghoul, Nathan... Right, I should be able to identify a lot of these. I can see what happened to them because I don't, I don't have their corpses, so I don't see their moment of death. But I'm certain there were many... Okay, this starts with Abigail, got it. Captain's Quarters. There are many deaths I will be able to see there even though the corpses were not recovered. A whole bunch of people were thrown off of the boat, the little boat. I don't really need to pay attention to that. Martin, where's my husband? I mean, I'll uh, read the transcript, I guess. Have you lost a mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. He's below deck. Come here. I got all that I needed out of that dialogue. So Martin is here holding sword. Who you be? Alfred Clestil? What? 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 What the what? Hold on, what? Excuse me? The Doom is part seven. I thought it was... Okay, well, hey, check it out. I know how he lost his arm. Okay. <laughs> I found my information. Awesome. <laughs> All right. You were, uh, crushed by a terrible beast. Mm hmm Uh, no. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. This is the end of... Well, 
was not decapitated. He was dismembered. I mean, crushed is... Torn apart. There we go. By beast. Well. That's totally what happened to him. Shoot, so I have something else wrong. Because this is right. This is definitely how he lost his arm. And the loss of his arm is what eventually killed him. I saw his moment of death. He was armless. He had no other obvious thing wrong with him. So what's wrong with my other ones? This is William Wasim. Number 53. Number 52 is not involved in um, A Bitter Cold Part 1. Right? I'm fairly certain. When were you crushed? I'm going to see that. The, you're in the Doom Part 3. Maybe there's something wrong with the, your cause of death. What's the other cause of death I have input? Because I do have three complete fates now, and this is telling me one is wrong somehow. Alfred Clestel, fully input. Chiotan, spiked by a terrible beast. I mean, that's pretty distinctive. Chiotan was the last person from Formosa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this this one's right. So the only information I feel not completely certain about is William Wasim's cause of death. So I guess... Oh, hey. Hey, I'll bet I can also infer your identity. Yeah, I know who you are. You are Boson's mate, Charles Minor. Where's my Frenchman? They were very much together when his arm was getting cut off. That's what he was thinking about. That's my theory. Uh, you have three marks. That's that's what I'm putting down. I don't see what happened to you. Are you a disappearance? Um, what are you doing all the way over here, book? I want to be here. Uh, the only reason I'm uncertain about William Osim's fate is because it's been a long time since I saw it. Okay, so you disappear, but you're still here at the... Oh, dear. This is the final part of the Doom, and you're still present, but you disappear during this chapter, so how am I going to figure that out? Oh, wait. Easy. I know exactly how to figure that out. Um, okay, so I can input that fate at least. Take me to... Alfred Clestel's actual death. Where's my Frenchman? Your mate was torn apart. Thanks. Okay, there we go. I'm doubting myself. I'm basing this on the fact that these two are in close proximity. I'm going to input it and let the book tell me whether I'm right or not. I might regret this. How might I regret this? I mean, either it's right or it's not. <laughs> I don't know that three of my others are, that two of my others are right though. You know, torn apart by beast. Okay, that's, that's right. I feel like that conclusion was a little more shaky than I normally like. Just his proximity to Alfred Clestel when his arm was being torn off had like 66% confidence, where like 65% is my normal threshold. <laughs> Just barely good enough to input. I was blabbering so much I didn't pay attention to which fates were verified. Who was the wrong one? At this point, I'm kind of okay with getting information like this, as long as I'm not just like inputting random stuff. Is it William Wasim? Yes. Feels like I can be pretty sure about your identity. Unless my note is wrong that 53 was in that memory. Wait. 
the way I wrote that note was for occupied beds. So doesn't that tell me this is specifically not William? Okay, I need to look back at that memory. Um, it tells me one way or another. I think I just interpreted the information the opposite way around is how it is. As soon as I leave this memory, you know what, let's do it now. This is easy to get back to. I know that I can flip it around and it will be correct now. Like, I have that information, like, 100% verified unless he is, um, unless his cause of death is wrong. But I'm going to do my diligence and try to actually follow the clues so that I can see how the game tells me he's there. So... If bed 53 is occupied and he is not in it. 51. 53 is empty. Oh. My note was about all of the tags that are on the beds, but I paid no attention to who was actually in them. Shoot, well, I wrote that note badly. Dang it. So I know who you are, but not for a good reason. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to untag you. 53 is empty. That could mean... I cannot say that that does not mean that that's Abraham Akbar's bed and... What am I trying to say? Um... I guess what I'm trying to say is, do I know for sure that only one of these two people is in this memory? I can f find... Can I find out? Uh, do I know what Abraham Akbar looks like? That's Solomon Syed. That's William Wasim. That's Renfrid Rajub. Could you be Abraham Akbar? Or no, sorry, this is Abraham Akbar. Could you be William Wasim? Mm. Wait, no, hold on. This is you, right here. Oh, they're both here. Oh, I have no information. Hold on. So the game has given me no information. According to the clues I've actually seen, I still only know your information by the fact that I had two complete fates input, three complete, complete fates input, including yours, and this one was rejected. So again, I refuse to use that as a means of getting information. I am going to unmark you. You are simply a C man. I want to, I want to unmark you. So I have to, what? I what? Unmark. Un un unmark. Change. Okay. No. He's 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 no one. Just just un unmark. Unmark. Change change this name to nothing. How do I have to go to his his death? I guess. <laughs> so I cannot go here and specifically remove this name. Uh, this way. Perish in the Doom Part Three. There we go. The Doom Part Three. You. I don't I don't know your name currently. You are unknown seamen. I do know your name, but I'm not happy with the means by which I know your name. <laughs> and I refuse to use that as information in this puzzle unless I get really desperate. I'm not desperate yet. So. I'm gonna try hard to follow the signposting, because that might be important for... Uh, William Mosim's actual identity. He might not be that guy who's tending to Solomon Syed. I think he is. But he might not be. Okay, back to the Doom. Uh, that was part one. Part two is... Or, sorry, that was part eight. Part seven is Maba. Location of the corpse is here. I'm facing it. It's not you. Is it you? No. No, this is, um... Uh, the guy who was executed. This is Maba. What was the guy who was executed's name? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to be here. Hold on, hold on. Back out of this. Exit. I didn't finish parsing the Doom Part 8. Let's go there first. 
Sound of liquids hitting ship deck. Don't know which liquid. Don't know why. It doesn't quite sound like water of the ocean sloshing in just because of violent tentacle action. Uh, sounds more like, you know, buckets of stuff being dumped. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> That's not part of this mystery that I have to solve. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I'm still interested. Alright, yes. I want my husband's... Alright, here is one of the three memories where these two women appear. They are always together. She's acting protective of her, kind of. Is she? It looks to me as though she is. The older looking one. Could these be mother and daughter? I don't see why not, but I, I don't know that. Pete's mom. Two people mentioned Pete's mother. I'm just thinking about mothers. Someone named Pete is on this book. Eh, on this book. On this boat. Could one of these be... If you're a miss, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean you're not a mother. But are you a miss? Do I have these names in? But <laughs> ah, <laughs> these two are tough. Uh, who are you? You're reaching out toward them. Are you? Oh, you're Paul Moss. Paul, look out. She said that. Paul, look out. Paul Moss. Jane Bird, Emily Jackson. I'm certain that those names fit those two, right? And I just don't know which is which. Like, there are no other names that could possibly fit them, correct? Emily Jackson, Jane Bird, Passenger, England. They're English, yes. They're women, yes. Far as I can tell. Um, yes. Those are the only two names that can fit them. Okay, so... Paul Moss. What's Peter's last name? Aren't there two Peters? Peter Milroy. Midshipman, England. England, that heads up. No, there's only one Peter. There's two Johns. John Davies and John... Uh, was there not another John? John Naples. Right. At the time that I input your name, I thought you were the only John. So I slightly misfollowed that clue. But I think it was obvious from context that you were not um, fourth mate. So it was fine. Anyway, um... So some information about those two exists here. If I can figure out who one of them is, then the other one will become clear. They left alongside Henry Evans. So I know what happened. I can presume what happened to them. They're probably alive in... Was it Africa? Namibia? Was it Namibia? Morocco. Where did I get Namibia? That country came up at some point, I think. Uh, this is, right, officer. You're definitely an officer. You've, you're always in uniform. Still don't actually know your name, though. How many officers are left? Like, is there anyone you can possibly be other than... Oh. What kind of officer... Hold on, maybe describing you as an officer is inaccurate. What's a unique role? Nobody else has a hat like yours. Is Does a steward dress that way? Are you a helmsman? What's a helmsman? This is not the thing to be fixating on right now. I will um, shortly... Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment to know... I've never seen you navigating. 
If I see someone navigating, then maybe I can identify them as helmsman. Captain, mate, bosun, gunner, purser, surgeon, carpenter. I know who the gunner is, right? Maybe. Military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. You look kind of military, but don't I have the gunner input already? Gunner, where are you? Gunner? Christian Wolf. He was the one who was like... So could you be Olus Wyatter? I don't know. I feel like I have a problem with this this individual. I mean, maybe I'm only thinking Gunner because he's currently holding two guns. <laughs> and has a third near him. This man loves his guns. Okay. Um, do, do, you, do I know where you died or disappeared? You were shot with a gun. When? Escape? Who? What? You were part of this? Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not there now. I'm in the Doom. I'm focusing on the Doom. You exist here. This is maybe good information about your identity, but um, I'm going to leave it for now and look at other stuff. Can I not get up here? I can't. You're a disappearance, probably. You are clearly being crushed by a terrible beast, but your body is being flung out to sea. There's no way you escape this. Alive? Yeah, this is definitely what kills you. I'm, that's, that seems sure enough that I'm going to input it. Crushed. Beast. That's just a, a bit of water. Yeah, crushed by beast, dragged under. I mean, okay, maybe, no, drowning wouldn't have been your cause of damage. The, the crushing would, would do it quicker, probably. Okay, uh, Maba here is dead. That's next memory I'm going to. This man is dragging him. Good old unknown Topman, silent knife guy. I've never heard your voice. You're a very mysterious individual. Abigail dying there. Okay. So that's all I get out of this. Maba, show me your moment of death. Where are you? Nobody says anything during this, right? Yeah, there, there's, no, there's no text. Transcript is blank. Maba's crushed. But there's that liquid on the deck. This looks like Leonid Volkov. This is Leonid Volkov. He's alive at this... I keep thinking the Doom is like at the end, but there's two or three more chapters after it. Mm. Hmm. Tossing a gun to him. This gun ends up on the ground and he's firing with pistols. <laughs> Dual wielding for some reason. <laughs> Uh, maybe he fires it before it becomes useless. Who are you? Dunno. You survived this encounter. You're the guy who called out mutiny. You were knifed by this man, I'm fairly certain? No, 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 that's not right, is it? It could be. I forget. You have a gun. You're John Davies, okay? No mysteries there. I is there? Do I know how you died? Did you die? Was clubbed to Henry Brennan. Done. That's a tentacle. Leonid Volkov sliced it off. Good for him. He seems very competent. I just identified you. You're Charles Minor. That is certain. It is verified. Oh, you're a... Oh, one of those. You are a Chinese top man, I believe. Well... I get no information here. What are you... What is that? It looks like a... I don't know. It's like a... <laughs> a bottle in a paper bag, but I don't think this is just like a drunk stumbling around the boat here. 
Why would you have a... Were there even paper bags in 18-whatever when this took place? So I'm, I'm misidentifying this. It's a pouch of some sort in your hand. I don't know what that object is. Uh, cannot quite identify. This is Martin. Martin Parrot. Anyway, you are Alfred Clestel. You're tossing a gun to maybe Gunner's mate. I don't know if that's a good one, though. Okay. Done with this memory. Next. Uh, is next accessible from here? I see no one. Oh, yeah, it's you. So part six. Main bit. This is not the explosion yet. Or rather, this is after the explosion, since these go in, in reverse. Hold on. Oh, this is the explosion. Get to the main bit quick. Hold on, throw the powder. I don't know you. You do appear in several memories. Are you in the most important memory? No. No bitter cold for you. You're all over the place, and I feel like I have not paid you much attention. Like, just looking at your portraits, this is not a portrait that I've looked at a whole lot and thought, hmm, it's this guy again. Okay, so obviously no identifying information here, only your cause of death. He only has two marks, so this would be a good one to focus on. What the heck is going on here? You have a rope around your waist. It's also tied to him or his explosive and anchored onto this. So you're just trying to like stabilize yourself and make sure you're not pulled overboard or something? I mean, whoa, this, this is at a pretty severe angle at this point. Who are you? Don't know. Mutiny man, as I'm calling you. Maba? With a sword. Tentacle, you don't have an identity, you're just a just part of a Kraken. <laughs> Dude, this guy really loves his guns. That strongly supports the gunner theory. Hold on. So this is this is getting kind of like ridiculous is not the word, but getting very definite about military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. I mean, look at all these guns. Look at all these guns. He's having trouble holding on to them, but he's doing his best. John Davies. So, hold on. Do I have main gunner verified? Gunner. I always go by it. Where is it? Uh, it's Christian Wolf. Unverified. Well, because your fate is unknown. How did I determine you were Gunner? I'm not sure what made me certain of that. I can maybe find out. Um, let's go to... Hook Sung Lao, that was the guy. Shotgun, H. Brennan. Perished in Murder Part 2. Murder Part 2, transcript says... Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Okay, that's how I verified that. I'm gonna input Gunner's Mate. You are seen in close proximity to way too many... Um, your Olus Wider. In close proximity to way too many guns for you not to be a gunner. Always with that hat on, military officer... That's who you are. I'm putting it in. Got like 70% confidence. <laughs> Again, apparently my threshold is 65. If it's higher than that, I will input it. Even if only by a hair. Okay, this is all I can see from here. 
not as many people in this part of the memory. Uh, who is next? I think gun deck is next, right? Like this is the end of the above ship portion of the doom. I should learn some of the like, there are key shortcuts for getting around to then this, this whole bookmark thing it told me about, I never learned to use those. <laughs> I jump around way too much for like one or two bookmarks to, uh, to help me. Uh, blasted by explosion on the gun deck. All right, so it proceeds from on the main deck to on the gun deck from here. Uh, I'm pressed for time, and that's already 30 minutes, so let's just stop it here. I'll proceed with the gun deck next time, and maybe chasing down some of these leads that I was so close to resolving. Um, yes. Excellent. Okay, cool. Uh, see you next time for gun deck portion of the Doom.